Maybe it's time for the aliens to just, you know, take us away. Maybe we should all just be abducted by aliens and take it away somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it's apparently okay. possible. According to well, retired Israeli general and current professor Haim Ished, the answer is yes. Uh, there are aliens and they do exist. But this has been uh, kept a secret because humanity isn't ready. Right. Kept under wraps. <clears throat> Speaking uh, the other day with um, uh, some publication. Yeah, it was, it was a, a newspaper in uh, Jerusalem. In Israel. He served as the head of Isra- Israel's space security program for nearly 30 years. He's a three-time recipient of the Israel, Israel Security Award. And he explained, Israel and the U.S. have both been dealing with aliens for years. Duh. And he wanted to make sure that everybody knew he's not, he's not referring to immigrants as aliens. He clarified that he's talking about the existence of a galactic federation. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> he claims there is a right. signed contract. Signed contract. With us to do uh, experiments here, but they have to wait until, you know. Until what? Humanity evolves. Okay, so are we going to be admitted into the Galactic Federation when we uh, finally are ready for this? I I hope so. Okay. I hope so. I mean, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the entire contractual document. You haven't seen the contract, right? Yeah. Yeah, we should be. I'd like to, I'd like to see the contract. <laughs> and what language too. is that written in? Uh, the 87-year-old former space security chief gave further descriptions about exactly what sort of agreements have been made between aliens and the U.S., which have been uh, made because they wish to research and understand the fabric of the universe. This cooperation includes a secret underground base on Mars. Of course. All right. Our astronauts are there, too. Why the sniff? Where there uh, there are American and alien representatives. If true. So, hang on. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, why are the aliens making contracts with the United States? I mean, sure, we're the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. That's why. But shouldn't shouldn't they be making contracts with the entire planet? No, they can't can't trust the rest of the planet. Just the United States and Israel. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) So anyway, continue. So an underground base on Mars. So we got an underground base on Mars where there are at? American and alien. I just have a little bit of a cold. Uh, oh, there okay. are American and alien representatives. If true, this would <clears throat> coincide with U.S. President Donald Trump's creation of the Space Force as the fifth okay. branch, though it's unclear how long this sort of relationship, if any, has been going on between the U.S. and the uh, the aliens. Okay? So we don't we don't know how long this... Agreement has existed, but exist it does, and there's an underground base on Mars already. Thank you. Well, then we've a lot of the work has been done for us on the whole Mars thing, right? Well, we, we can't talk about it, though. So, Ished insists that President Trump is aware of all of this and that he was on the verge of disclosing their existence. However, the Galactic Federation reportedly stopped him shut from him doing down. that. They shut him right on down. How'd they do that, though? It well, they, seemed like he would back down. They said they wished to prevent mass hysteria since they felt humanity needed to evolve and reach yeah. a stage where we will understand uh, what space and spaceships are. <clears throat> okay. So, so <laughs> I don't know when we're going to understand what space is. I mean... I, I kind of thought we already did, but I guess not. No, not, not, not the, the most way, convincing not the story. Mm-hmm. Not the way the Galactic Federation knows it. <laughs> But I will say, <laughs> I, I am with them. I mean, they understand that, uh, you know, mm-hmm. planets are ours, right? The United States. <laughs> I saw where yeah. China, you know, went to the moon and put, put their put flag, flag on the moon. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, I would say uh, no to that. No, that's uh, they, meaningless. They, meaningless. Know, they know that the moon is ours. The other planet, Mars, is ours. That's interesting. Ours. Yeah, right. you're right. I mean, the aliens there it is. There's the know who speaks for the planet. The, they came thank to you. us. Yeah, right. that's correct. Right. Great point. I, w- I wish I wish uh, you know Elon or Bezos or uh, Branson would send a uh, send a mission to the moon to to bring the Chinese flag back and just be nice and say, oh, you guys left something up here. You forgot it, and we wanted to make sure. <laughs> and to bring it back. I don't know why you would leave something on our moon. Here's your flag. <laughs> Toss it we allow you to Square. look at it, okay? Yeah. But uh, you're, only, you're only 50 years too late right. by coming here. 
But don't Thanks. get grabby. This it's our right. moon. Thank you. But you again, you can look at it if you want. You just can't plant plant flags on it. Thank you. Don't litter on our moon. This uh, former Israeli official went on to say, if I'd come up with what I'm saying today, five years ago, I would have been hospitalized. That's eh, maybe not a bad idea still. Uh, <laughs> what? Do you, what? <laughs> he added that. What? Today, they're talking differently. I have nothing to lose. I've received my degrees and awards. I'm respected in universities abroad, where the trend is also changing. Okay. So, okay. we've got a secret base. We're in contact got a galactic federation looking over our shoulders here overseeing things we're good we're good we're good yeah everything's great we're good don't like, worry where do they have it. these I w- intergalactic meetings like where are they holding these conferences well, if he didn't say we, if you have to ask yeah you're then you're not privy to know well, i haven't Thank seen you. the contract yet neither have you you just said so i know but i'm not going to ask questions because you're not if you if i don't know already that I'm not privy to it. I'm not part of the deal. Well, I want to know these things. Well, good luck. Wait till. I mean, I want to ask the aliens why they haven't intervened. This is the Wait crappiest till eight year billion ever. people send you the same story. I want to thank everyone on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Parlor who sent me this story yesterday. You're I welcome. got it. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Maybe is- the aliens could, I don't know, provide us with a vaccine for this stupid disease. What? How about that? That'd and, be nice. And cancer as well would be nice. That yeah, would be nice, too. What are aliens too. doing? I mean, are they just are hanging they out, yeah. observing us? I mean, I mean come do on. something. <laughs> right. If ever there was a time, let's go. Help this us evolve. Year. Exactly. <laughs> let's get to it.